All right, welcome to yet another fabulous Sunday night news and nonsense. And I have Total OS today with me here today. And we are talking about all the important tech news that makes a difference in your world. Take it away, Total OS, today. Thank you, Spatchery. This is number 13. Lucky number 13 because I, I want... It was 14. Uh, no, I, I think it's 13. I think we just did like a dozen eggs like last week, didn't we? Uh, I don't know. Jeez. Well, uh, I think it's 30, but if it's wrong, we'll have an update on the minute report to just make a correction that it's 30 <laughs> or 14 or whatever. But anyway, yes, folks, this is usually how they start. Complete confusion. No, but we're just joking. But, Spatry, happy 300th birthday. I mean, on your uh, videos, yeah. Yeah, 300th uh, video. Yeah, that just went up, and uh, that was a lot of fun. And interestingly enough, I actually recorded that a week early just so that I could roll that out in time. And, uh, yeah, I've been having quite a little blitz on videos going up. Uh, I've been doing my best to fill all the requests and that sort of thing. I've done some, nice. you know, I've really tweaked the show. You know, now we've got new titles. We've got new soundtracks, you know. Yes. We've got new special effects and new, new, new. New, new, new! <laughs> I understand you might be starting a Hollywood production studio here, like in five to ten years. Is this true? Uh, well, YouTube's still dragging their feet with getting uh, my gee, partnership okay. activated. Ugh, All right. Stuff. Well, you know what? Let's get that. Let's start on some fun stuff. Uh, how about if you get us started, actually? Okay. Well, the thing is, everybody knows about the UEFI Secure Boot for the Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, and Ubuntu apparently has an answer to this. Hmm. Now, in order to deal with uh, the Secure Boot that Microsoft is ushering, and, you know, this has had the Linux community in a complete and total uproar, because now we're going to go out and buy new hardware, and we can't install our Linux distributions on our computers, and that sort of thing. Well, Ubuntu is now going to drop Grub 2 and plan to use Intel's <coughs> excuse me, FE Linux loader with some modifications to add a relatively simple menu interface. This will enable users to switch between installed operating systems. And the reason Ubuntu developers uh, give for dropping Grub2 is and this is a quote. The reason we've arrived at a different plan is that Ubuntu has a rather extensive base of pre-installed systems. Mm -hmm. Microsoft Windows 8 logo requirements do say that there must be a way for users to disable Secure Boot yes. or to install their own keys. And we strongly support this in our own firmware guidelines. But in the event that a manufacturer makes a mistake and delivers a lockdown system with a Grub2 image signed by the Ubuntu key, we have not been able to find legal guidance that we wouldn't then be required to, in the terms of the GPL version 3, to disclose our private key in order that users can install the modified bootloader. And at that point, our certificates, of course, would be revoked and everyone would end up worse off. Now, is it just me or does it sound like a sort of cat and mouse game? It does you know um yeah. Yeah, yeah i'm picturing the coyote and the road runner and chasing <laughs> each other and everything right. you know and then and then you know and then all of a sudden you know uh you know the way that they're chasing and everything the coyote runs through this tube and the tube keeps getting smaller yeah and coyote emerges and he's like like uh one tenth of the size <laughs> of road runner and road runner standing there as a giant next to the you know, right. coyote, and the coyote grabs his leg and holds up a sign. Now that right. I caught him, what do I do with him? Well, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm quite familiar as, as a kid. But the, all I can say is, as far as technology goes, will the games never cease? I have yeah. no idea. But they really need to do away with these software patents and, and all this other... You know, cat and mouse. You well, know, at least modify them or something. The competition, yeah. That yeah. sort of thing. And now we've got Shuttleworth uh, making bedfellows with Linux. And what kind of babies they're going to make, I have no idea. But uh, we'll mm. keep an eye on that one. What you got for us, Total Oil? All right. Today? Well, um, Microsoft, you may have seen that they are apparently are going to produce their own tablet called the Surface tablet featuring Windows 8. 
I guess they chose Surface because the Microsoft Pit tablet didn't work, evidently. But uh, I don't know where they get these names. The Microsoft Surface. Uh, I mean, I mean, if you want to drop in a joke, be my guest. I can think of a few. Oh, but this is this is the truth. You know what? I actually had one of my subscribers send me a video of this guy making a demonstration on this thing. Okay. And it crashed. He had actually oh. run behind the podium and grab another one. It was hilarious oh. to watch. Well, to be fair, in, isn't Windows 8 <laughs> still in beta? I mean, it isn't finalized yet, right? No, but then again, it never is finalized when it releases. Uh, I, you know what? I'll wait. I see your point, but you know Have what? Have you ever seen a Windows product that, that shipped on release date that was finished? Come yes, on! yes, Windows Seven. <laughs> yes, it was, and and you and you know, I'm Windows Seven was what Vista should have been. And we've, and we've talked about this yes, before. Yes, we have talked about it. And, uh, yeah. But even then, Windows 7 required updates the day that you installed it. So, uh, so does Ubuntu <laughs> and the 50 million other Linuxes. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. I, all right, I will hand you this. Yes, Windows 7 was a much better release that was uh, put out on okay. release day. So I'm yeah. just seeing things as I uh, call yeah. it. But as far as Windows 8, I don't know. Like, I'll wait to the end. Uh, one of the points I was trying to get about the Windows a tablet is if if they're making it to compete against the Apple iPad Microsoft you're doing it all wrong if your tablet's gonna run five hundred dollars and the iPad is five hundred people are not going to buy your product unless Microsoft unless you have something a gimmick feature or features that the iPad doesn't have and that people want it then you can sell successfully sell the surface assuming of course it's relatively bug free but if it has the same specs as the iPad except now you're calling it Windows 8 it's not going to sell because you're coming to the game to the ball field mm -hmm. after the ninth inning when the game is almost over you know mm -hmm. what I mean yeah. so the surface or any other product this includes the Google tablet that's supposed to be released I guess what in about a month mm -hmm. uh, now of course I don't think it'll be priced five hundred dollars rumor says two fifty for a for a quad core if I saw it correctly which is terrific mm -hmm. but if that's true then for Google then it has something that the iPad does not number one is the pricing and number two if if it can successfully or seamlessly uh, friendly sync your Android phone to the Android tablet there you go how about that for some user yeah. friendliness but as far as the surface tablet Microsoft if it's not different if it's not unique uh, it's not gonna sell but that's my opinion yeah okay well I have something and you just mentioned Google yes and uh, and so at any rate, Google's stating that Motorola will remain independent. And you know what? Motorola's been making some news lately. So let me uh, oh, yeah. give you this little tidbit first, yeah. and then I have another little half of a tidbit to sure. go along with this while yes. we're on the same vein. Yes. But uh, Google's stating that Motorola will remain independent, crushing all speculations and fear, uncertainty, and doubt spread by the anti-Android gang, Google has reiterated that they won't be integrating Motorola and the inventor of cell phones will remain an independent company. Hmm. Now, Patrick Pichette, the CFO of Google, uh, told the annual shareholder meeting that there is no plan to integrate Motorola with Google. He said it's important it stays in its own battlefield. And speaking of its own battlefield, everybody knows that uh, that Motorola has also uh, been in um, a little war with Microsoft reg regarding patent deals, and yes. now it is true. Yes, Xbox is Xbox is banned uh, for sale in the United States presently until um, some form of um, wow. resolution comes Ooh. into play. And the thing is, uh, for products that are still on store shelves now, I believe it is a seven percent. Uh, that Microsoft has to pay 
to Motorola for these devices. Mm. Uh, I can't remember where I got that article from, but yet this is just another uh, tidbit that one of my subscribers sent to me. Um, okay. It was a really good read, and I shared that yesterday, and uh, I forgot to bookmark it, so I don't have a copy of the article that I could actually read to you guys. But it is confirmed that uh, Xbox has been in the United States until some resolution is made or something is done to work around Motorola's patent and technologies. Mm. And really, let's face it, folks, patents are really killing innovation here. Yeah, and, I yeah. mean, you know, we, we really need to start seeing something happen with these yeah. patents. They really, really, these technology, you know, there is no business patenting these ideas because, I mean, hey, if I want to make a video editor, obviously I'm going to stumble across somebody's idea right. to make a technology that I want to include work, which may be completely separate from a technology that's somebody else's idea. It's my code, but because it uses somebody else's idea, yeah. all the, you know, then, then that means I can't include that feature. It's absolutely ridiculous, yeah, and I really think, yeah, yeah it's... Yeah, it's ridiculous, and they really need to, you know, something really needs to be done about that. But well, sitting here bickering about it isn't going to get no, the job done. No, but that's I see your point. I mean, the the patent system has to be somehow, you know, tuned up, modified, because it really doesn't help the consumer or 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 all the companies involved, for that matter. So I don't know where this, this is going to lead to. For me, for myself, as long as they don't touch my new Halo game coming out next Christmas, I'm fine. So, um, let's see. Google, speaking of Google, uh, I came across yeah. this just out of the blue. Uh, it says here that Google, uh, let's see, where did I see that? Uh, here it is. Google fights to save 3,054 dying languages. Now, the problem is, now I have no problem with sa saving part of a culture such as a language. P people in this country have trouble <laughs> speaking English. Uh, so, so I mean, now we're going to save languages such as Koro. I'm just reading this off the wire here. Koro and uh, Ar Aragonese. Aragonese. Isn't that a spice you put in, like, in, in, this, in, the, in the spaghetti sauce? Oh, that's oregano. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> what about Ojibwa or, or some other stuff? But, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess, I guess this is more of a cultural... Yeah, I know, I know, I know. For all you language uh, majors out there, l let us know if this is valuable to Spatry. <laughs> <laughs> you always do know how to pick the winners, don't you? <laughs> well, this is uh, news and nonsense, so watch, watch. I'll get an email from a linguistic major saying, what, dude, what's your problem? I, I don't have a problem. I just want to be enlightened. So if you are a linguistics major, a tongue major, let Spatry know, and then Spatry can, can explain it to me. So, okay, so there you go. <laughs> let's let's just go ahead and dig up all these ancient cultures and just uh, you know, and uh, <laughs> you know, uh, reintegrate all their languages. Yeah. Thing. I don't well, know I mean, I'm, look, I'm all for the preservation <laughs> and the advancements of culture. Yeah, I That's I mean, technology itself is form of a culture. So there you go. Yeah. 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 Oh, let's see. Well, you mentioned Microsoft. One last thing. Uh, Microsoft has unveiled. They did was what did yesterday or last week the Windows Windows Phone 8. Uh, it's modernizing its mobile. I know, I know. Hey, I figured out <laughs> since since you're on a laughing spree, you might as well laugh some more. But I thought that the Windows 7 would like when it came out. I thought it was very very easy to use. It was dummy proof. Now. I don't know how many it sold or if it was reliable, but in terms of usage, you know, for someone who wanted a smartphone but really didn't want, didn't need all the stuff that comes with Apple iPhone or Android, I thought Windows 7 was a perfect, kind of like a compromise between something really, really fancy and, you know, it's something kind of like the low end. But I don't know. This is what I'm seeing off the newswire. Um... If it's reliable, if it works, why not? Because obviously this will sync with your Windows 8 computer, I'm sure, and and the Xbox and all the other stuff that uh, some young folks may find attractive. Well, I've owned Windows mobile phones, and I'll tell you what, 
based on their track record, I would never, never, never buy another one again. Okay. You know, and that's that's my that's my two cents worth on that one. You know, maybe they've improved, maybe they haven't. I don't know. But the thing is, you know, hey, uh, you know, I've had bad luck with them. Really? My Android device that I have now, yeah, uh, it's probably been two months now since I've even rebooted the thing. Oh. Okay. You know, it just keeps working. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, yes. I just plug it in when it needs to be charged. I never had to shut it down. I never even had to pull out the battery in my Windows mobile phones. I had to pull out the battery at least three times a day mm. and restart the thing. Okay. Thanks, but no thanks. That is not is, user friendly. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. No. Exactly. Exactly. And the thing is, you know, uh, let's face it, Android is is winning here. Yes. Now, um, even Travals himself said, you know, some measure of success, you know, with the kernel, we're getting, yeah. we're talking 900,000 activations a day. That is not some measure mm. of success. That, you know, is, so. that is success. <laughs> that, that pure and simple is success, right? Exactly. Especially, but, you know, um, well. speaking of which, during that same discussion, he also had a few kind words for NVIDIA, where... <laughs> Where he, hey, uh, there's where a he language sent the to say. I love you signal yes. exactly to NVIDIA, and uh, you know, it is what right. it is. I hear you. There, Google, save the Linux finger language before it goes away. There you go. But uh... Exactly, exactly. So, all right. Well, uh, I'll say this has been a wonderful show. Yes. And, uh, yeah, as always, I enjoy uh, chatting with you, uh, Total OS, today. Uh, hey, as long as we have listeners, uh, all two of them, we'll, we'll keep doing this. No, I'm just... <laughs> well, I will say this. I can't thank you enough for, you know, working with me on all the podcasts. I know I mentioned this on episode 300. but You, you really, did. Thank you, you know, for the mention. I appreciate it. You are quite yeah, welcome. You know, but, yeah. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it, you know. Um, I, I really enjoyed working with you, and I and I hope to work with you again on many, many, many more episodes. I know yes. you have episode 400 coming up. Congratulations to you, you, and uh, I hope to be with you uh, for that special. Yeah, I have around 385, I believe. I want to have you and IG on if I can catch him. He's been rather busy yeah. or on vacation. I haven't been able to catch him. He's still doing the videos, but uh, yeah, I, I would like to have you, IG, Whoever else, a sis admin girl and so on and so forth, I want to make it a, a just just make it a party. Absolutely. Well, yeah. I'm looking forward to it and congratulations and get you get too. the lead out of your backside and get the rest of those videos done, huh? Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>